Hello everybody on YouTube, this is Kyle Snyder once again, aka Eclipton, and this video that I'm doing has to do with a rule that I would like to see changed in the NFL for next season or any future season. And I kind of touched on this a little bit in my previous video on my thoughts of the previous season and what I'd want to see happen in the next season. But the one thing that I'd, the one rule that I'd want to see changed changed in the NFL for next season. No, it's not the tuck rule. I know that a lot of people want to see that change, but but the one rule I want to see change that some people may agree or disagree on is the rule that states that at the final two minutes of a half that coaches cannot challenge plays, but rather every play is to be looked at from the, rebo from the review booth upstairs and Personally, I think it's a bad rule because it can cause some controversial moments. Basically, what the rule states is that at the at the final two minutes of each half, half if even if coaches have timeouts and even if they have challenges left in the game, they cannot use those challenges in the final two minutes of a half, but rather all plays will be reviewed upstairs with the review booth. And the reason why I want this rule changed is because... It can cause some major controversy, as we've seen in two games in the 2001 season. One happened with the Cleveland Browns versus Jacksonville Jaguars in December of 2001, and with the Bottlegate incident. Basically, what happened? It was within the final two minutes of the fourth quarter. The Browns needed to score a touchdown to win the game and keep their playoff hopes alive for that season. And so they basically go for it on fourth. They It looks like they catch it. They get the first down. Um, and then they quickly run another play, spike the ball to stop the clock uh, so that they get more time. But then all of a sudden, we they want to review the play with the Quincy Morgan catch. And they just ran another play to... You know, the play to spike the ball and to stop the clock. And the rules are very specific that once another play is run, no other plays can, no other prior plays can be reviewed. But the reason that they said they wanted to review it, it was because there was a malfunction in the communication system between the referee and the review booth. And the referee claimed that he was buzzed prior to the snap, but. But as Mike Pereira, the vice president of officiating in the NFL says, if you tried to replay the replay buzz, you'd have no evidence to support it. So basically, they reviewed the play. They determined that it was an incomplete pass because Quincy Morgan never had control. But the replays show, the replays do not show the ball touching the ground from all angles that they showed. And... And if the ball doesn't touch the ground on a pass, then it's either one of two things. It's either a completed pass or an interception. And there was it was obviously not an interception. It had to be a completed pass. But since the referee ruled it an incomplete pass, all of a sudden, everyone in the, in the arena went mad. Like, they were booing very loudly. They were chanting BS. They were throwing... A lot of objects in, such as beer bottles and other various objects, and you know, and five minutes afterwards, after not being able to control the crowd, referee Terry McCauley ended the game, sent both teams back into the locker room. And personally, I think that that referee Terry McCauley should have been fired after that game because a lot of people thought that that game was rigged, and I believe it was rigged. Because why else would you? still review it after another play is run. I mean, the rules say that you can't review another play after another one has been run, no matter what the circumstances are. And the second controversy that came with this, with the two-minute review rule was, of course, the 2002 playoff game between the Oakland Raiders and the New England Patriots. Tom Brady you know, it's within the final two minutes of the fourth quarter. Tom Brady, trying to pass the ball, decides not to because he sees his receiver covered, tries to retuck the ball, gets hit by Charles Woodson, loses the football. Greg Beaker dives on it. Looks like the Raiders have it. But then, of course, Walt Coleman gets buzzed, says the review booth says that they need to review the play. T 
tuck rule, of course, comes into play, and it was ruled an incomplete pass instead of a fumble. The Patriots retained the ball, managed to tie the game, managed to win the game in overtime, and it's one of the most controversial moments of all time. I mean, yes, according to the rules, the play was called correctly, but a lot of people said that it was a fumble. And I can see why, because even to this day, I don't agree with the I don't agree with the ruling that Walt Coleman made in that playoff game, but nevertheless, I do accept it because according to the rule books, it was the right call. So you can't really blame Walt Coleman for making the correct call in accordance to the rule book. But anyways. Those are two examples of major controversies that have been caused by the two-minute review rule. Because I really think this rule should be done away with and that coaches should be allowed to challenge plays within the final two minutes of a, of a half. Because if the, co if the coaches themselves make challenge uh, play to be reviewed, even if it's a coach that I'm not rooting for, I'm cool with it. It's the coach's right to determine whether or not a play should be challenged. But when you take that power away from the coaches, put it in the hands of the referees and the review booths, it can cause a lot of controversy. And I am afraid that we're going to see similar controversies that may screw over certain teams in future seasons of the NFL. I do want to see this r rule done away with. I do want to see coaches be allowed to challenge plays at the final two minutes of a half. But th this is my opinion because we need to do away with this rule to avoid controversies. Some of you may agree with my opinion. Some of you may not. So if you agree or disagree, feel free to post a response as to why you feel this Rules should be done away with. Until then, I'm Kyle Snyder. Thank you very much for listening to my opinion on this two-minute review rule.